Prime Minister Andrew Holness is making a bold push for educational reform, aiming to address what he sees as a deepening social divide. His focus this time around is the primary exit profile, PEP, criticized by both parents and teachers alike. Ramon Gordon has the details. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says his administration is bullish on educational reform. That's why the government leader has set his sights on high school placement exams, which he believes has created a stark social divide. Only for the bright. And once we get over that and we recognize that every school must perform to their highest standard so it doesn't really matter which name brand school you go to, you're going to get the best quality education. When we talk about the divisive primary exit profile PEP is the sorting standard for primary learners seeking entry to secondary institutions. Since its 2019 debut, the assessment has been a point of contention with educators and parents arguing it imposes undue academic strain on young learners. The reality is we have now stretched over three years and we're seeing burnout among our children. We're asking you to listen to us. We're on the ground. We see it. We're seeing a lack of focus and love of education. And while we embrace the idea and the concept behind the PEP of promoting greater level of creativity, divergent thinking, and critical thinking, we believe some of the challenges lie in the age appropriateness and complexity of some of the tasks the children are asked to do. Holness agrees. At an early age, where some may naturally exhibit the ability to grasp information quickly and regurgitate it, that is not a measure of intelligence or creativity. And we distribute our best educational spaces in that way to the detriment of the rest of the society. That's why the wholeness cabinet says it's shifting gears. Pulling on too much on our kids. At an early age, we need to ensure that they can read, that they can function well in a numerate way, that they can articulate, and that they can interface with technology. Yes. Once we get them those core learning skills, the world of knowledge is open to them. In the 2024 primary exit profile, 60% of students achieved proficient scores in mathematics, 67 in language arts, 70% in science, and 72% in social studies, reflecting significant improvements from pre- and post-COVID-19 assessments. Ramon Gordon for CVM News.